oh my god, my heart stopped and then restarted. Good, made me feel something. I'm ready to take on this video. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, that big lass. All right, lads, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tom Harlock and I do not have an intro, but I did have an apple for breakfast. And you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Well, in that case, someone get this gal a whole entire orchid because her knees are screaming for inpatient treatment. This is Amberlynn Reed, 29 years old and with the lung capacity of a bedbound pensioner. Amberlynn is a YouTuber from America, obviously. The weight loss community on YouTube has started to swell recently with channels such as Obese to Beast inspiring a new wave of vloggers to pick up the camera and document their journey. And one of the biggest in every sense is Amberlynn Reed. Hi, that's me. It sure is, sweetheart. It sure is. Amberlynn first came on my radar around a month ago when I opened the YouTube app and on my homepage was a video titled Amberlynn Reed pronouncing words wrong for two and a half minutes. And all I can say is thank God for the YouTube algorithm. What is it called? Yeah. Camino. Yeah. Camino. And from this moment, I was hooked. I can't get enough of Amberlynn Reed, if I'm honest. Can't eat, can't breathe, can't sleep, can't enjoy music or books or movies, because I feel like every moment is wasted Amberlynn Reed time. I feel like I'm studying for a PhD in Amberlynn theology and I can't cram in enough information. So for today's video, in an effort to exercise all the Amberlynn knowledge I've got inside of my brain, I I I'm dumping it on you. I'm really sorry, but I need to speak about this girl so I can just move on with my life. Honestly and truly, it's like a parasite. When I first came across and stumbled across Amberlynn Reed, promise you there was absolutely no coming involved. When I first stumbled across Amberlynn Reed, I thought she was just a simple curvy girl from the middle of Incestionapolis, Kansas, America who talked bad and ate badder. So I felt kind of mean making so many jokes about her. But the more I fell down the rabbit hole, and trust me, it's a massive gaping rabbit hole, the more I was a little bit concerned, if I'm honest. A quick Google video search returns over three million results for Amberlynn Reed. That's three times the amount of Tyler Oakley, three times the amount of Tyler Mongoose, and if I'm honest, she has over 30 times the amount of results as me, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, doesn't everyone? In fact, there's a whole entire YouTube community dedicated to analysing, critiquing and debunking every single one of Amberlynn's uploads. Some of these channels have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and millions of views. Are we really bringing the weight loss doctor up again? Because, girl, he told you, he told you how to lose weight and you tried for 12 hours, if that. Why why is this girl so interesting? Why are people talking about her so much? She's just a humble weight loss channel, isn't she? Well, she's a little bit more than that. As well as gravity, Amberlynn has been at the centre of quite a few controversies over the years. And today we're going to delve into a couple of them. So sit back, relax, and grab a snack. And Amberlynn, if you're watching this, I said snack, not a whole entire rotisserie chicken. I'm trying to give you guys a good view. Anne Boleyn first uploaded to her channel in November of 2013. 22 years old, fresh-faced, bubbly. Wow. She first uploaded a video titled Nervous and Weight Loss and Awkward. In this first video, 360 pound Anne Boleyn discussed her plans to use her channel as a way of documenting her weight loss journey and the audience on YouTube as a way of keeping her accountable. I've been on a weight loss, weight loss journey for a very, very long time now. I think making these YouTube videos, it might make me accountable. I'm not really doing this for other people, I'm more so doing it for myself. In the first months of her channel, Amberlynn was doing pretty well. She was uploading weekly weigh-in videos, healthy tips, she was even going to the bloody gym. I have never done this great on the elliptical. I went 1.534 miles, so that's a mile and a half and I did it for 27 minutes. Knowing what I know about Amber now, this is shocking. The fact that she's even on a treadmill, the fact that she can even step up onto the treadmill, mind blown, reality shaken. Where's my little spinner totem? Because I feel like I'm in Inception. Where's Ellen Page? 
Evan. Okay, so I weighed in at 357.2. Anne Boleyn first started her channel in Virginia, visiting her girlfriend Crystal after the breakdown of a previous relationship in Oklahoma. Whilst visiting Crystal and her parents, Anne Boleyn received a call from her mum, saying, and I quote, Hi Anne Boleyn, love, it's your mum. Just a heads up, you can't come back to the family home. Yeah, I know it's a problem, but your grandma thinks you're an absolute nightmare. You're just gonna have to stay down there with Crystal and her parents or something, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, take care, bye. <laughs> and so she did. I'm living with Crystal and her parents and I'm really happy. Crystal's parents helpfully encouraged Amber to lose weight by dropping small hints. Or perhaps you should use a calorie controlled diet. You're massive, so I've bought you some weighing scales so you can track your progress. And this is where Anne Boleyn decided to pick up the camera and document her journey. Since I've been here, I've finally been urged to get healthy. I've been losing weight and I've been doing it because of them. Seeing as this gal was just dropped on her doorstep, essentially, Crystal's parents did a pretty good job at supplying for her. According to Anne Boleyn's old Tumblr blog that I found whilst doing research, Crystal's parents gave Anne Boleyn an allowance Allegedly. You're not suing me today, love. Sort of a thousand, one thousand five hundred dollars a month. It's for existed, apparently. Weight loss channels are all about going from A to B and bringing your subscribers along for the journey. This way they can celebrate your wins and they can pick you up if you fall off the horse. Poor horse's spine, if you ask me. And for the first 18 months of Anne Boleyn's channel, she was doing pretty well. You know... It it just, it happens. I'm, like I say all the time, I'm not a perfect person. I don't diet perfectly or change my lifestyle perfectly, but I mean, it's better to confess and acknowledge than to think that, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. I am down. Da, da, da. I weighed in at 362.0. In a video titled Dear Anne Boleyn, I kinda like this girl. She's self-aware, she admits that she doesn't know everything and that she needs help, and she's willing to listen to critiques and comments from her audience. Dear Anne Boleyn, I wanna talk to you for a minute. I know you wanna be healthy, and you want it so bad that it eats you up inside. But why can't you do it? With the support of Crystal's parents, it seemed like having a familial environment provided Anne Boleyn with the chance to focus on her surroundings less and her weight loss more. My girlfriend's mom isn't cooking tonight because she has an appointment, so I'm making this for my girlfriend and I. Currently cooking. We're also going to have Caesar salad. However, it was around this time that our audience started to notice there was a cycle in regards to Anne Boleyn's weight loss. I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow, it's a new day. I really hope I can do this. At the beginning of a weight loss cycle, Anne Boleyn finds a new strategy which she gets very invested in. Apparently she does tons of research. She gets very excited about the idea of losing weight and the idea of being successful. However, when push comes to shove and she has to put down that fork, she, well, she realises this is a bit difficult really, isn't it? So she fails. She comes onto YouTube, she lets her audience know, it's all your fault. You shouldn't have encouraged me to do something I knew nothing about. I didn't even want to do this in the first place. Didn't think it would be successful for me anyway. I plan to only eat 1,700 calories for this week, every day, besides Thanksgiving, and I already messed up. And today is only the first day. One of the earlier examples of this is in 2014 when Anne Boleyn decided to do 27 days of weigh-ins, with the idea being that for 27 days in a row, she would weigh herself and upload the evidence to YouTube. But it came as no surprise to anybody that by day 11, Anne Boleyn decided to throw in the big, giant, massive towel. Daily weigh-ins do mess with the brain, whether we think so or not. Um... So I think I'm going to stop with the daily weigh-in videos. Anne Boleyn uploaded a video titled, I'm sorry, but I'm done, where she blamed her YouTube audience for stressing her out. So she decided to dip and leave YouTube behind. I'm just done. Um, that's all I can say is I'm done. I do not know how famous YouTubers can handle the hate. Me neither, darling. But I survived somehow. I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. I am literally just tired of it you guys but don't worry too much because the next day she was back this is 
quite embarrassing. Um, I chose the haters over the lovers. I don't want to say goodbye to YouTube. I don't. I don't at all. And this is where I feel like Anne Boleyn went wrong, because if she stayed off YouTube in 2014, I don't think she'd currently be the weight of a female bear. Despite the obvious cycle of start the weight journey, fail at the weight journey, blame everyone else but yourself for the weight journey, Anne Boleyn was seemingly trying uh, 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 until... Crystal and I were having like a little issue. We were trying to work it out for about two weeks. We decided to break up. Aw, oh, poor girl. It's alright, love. Find your chin and pick it up. Despite the breakup, Anne Boleyn and Crystal remain friendly. In fact, she stayed in that house, in that same bed with Crystal, for months after. I'm really nervous for the future. I'm scared for the future because my future was Crystal. But things have changed drastically in the last year. That was until Anne Boleyn followed in Crystal's footsteps by downloading an app to try and make some new mates, if you know what I'm saying. I would get so many messages on there every single day. And when I say over a hundred, I'm not exaggerating. <sighs> over a hundred guys, crikey. Look at you, you little social butterfly. Go on, popular Lynn. Look at you with all your mates. And well, I'm just jealous, aren't I? Let's be honest, I've got no friends. <laughs> After being completely overwhelmed with messages, Destiny was the lucky gal to receive a reply. One of the people that I happened to message back was Destiny. And after a few months texting, Destiny had to come clean about something. Unfortunately, she had to break it to Anne Boleyn. She had a girlfriend. She was like, oh, I have a girlfriend. That's why I just didn't want you to know. And I was like, why wouldn't you want me to know? And she goes, because I feel like I'm forming feelings for you. And I was like... Oh God. But luckily for our girl, Destiny was willing to risk it all, break up with her current girlfriend for a shot at new love and romance. She wanted to start a relationship and Anne Boleyn did too. So she packed up all her massive cardigans and she moved to Florida to start a new life. One thing to bear in mind for all you aspiring lovers out there, you lose them the way you get them. I think it's time we quickly discuss Destiny. Ha. Huh. Destiny has the demeanor of a 13 year old boy with a rabid monster energy drink addiction. Titties! But for some reason, that tickled Anne Boleyn's sweet spot. And it wasn't just her sweet spot she was hitting, if you know what I'm saying. Wink, wink. That's not a bruise, that's a hickey. My deepest apologies if you were eating, I'm so sorry. Listen, I'm not here to diagnose anybody, but Destiny definitely gives me developmental delay vibes. Do you ever look at somebody and think, oh crikey, your mum loved getting steaming when you were in the womb, didn't she? And I'm not saying Anne Boleyn Reed picked up on this and exploited it. However, a brief look through the history of our relationships does show that Amber does tend to pick the more passive and um, simple girlfriend. However, with Destiny, it seemed like Amber found her one true love. Wow. <gasps> oh, it smells so good. I've never gotten flowers before, and they're roses. She giggled at everything Destiny said and did, and spoiler alert, absolutely nothing Destiny ever did or said was remotely ever funny, because between them, the girls have as much personality as a microwave steak. I weigh 422 pounds as of today. The girls would take nearly daily trips to Walmart to buy kitchen gadgets they were never gonna use, potentially some ugly jewelry, some microwavable meals to pick out within the evenings, and of course, gifts for Dumpy Destiny. If you're wondering what this mess is, Destiny. On these trips, the girls would use mobility scooters that they claimed they didn't need, and they would dump them after five minutes in the middle of the store for someone else to figure out. They would roll around on their scooters and they would pick up all the produce off the shelves and leave them on the side and not put them back and just have generally no consideration for other people. Absolutely nothing does my head in more than when someone is inconsiderate due to their laziness. If you can get an item from a shelf, yeah, you can put your big pork leg of an arm to use and put it back. Don't be so bloody lazy and rude. Honestly, people are not born on this earth to pick up after you. What was I talking about? Got to be eaten dead tonight. It's four o'clock in the morning. I shouldn't be this passionate. <laughs> Other reasons for not liking Destiny include, but are not limited to, her hairstyle, her fashion choices, her general personality, and oh yeah. Jesus Christ is my. Be. <laughs> <laughs> 
As you can imagine, from this moment onwards, Choo Choo, the Destiny hate train, is fully boarded. I know a lot of you people at home are going to be thinking, Tom, you can't judge Anne Boleyn on Destiny's actions, you can't tarnish her with Destiny's brush. And I actually completely agree, we shouldn't berate Amber for Destiny's... No, we shouldn't do that. But you remember that Tumblr vlog I found at the beginning of the video? Yeah, you should probably delete that one soon, shouldn't you, darling? <laughs> it's pretty obvious to anybody watching Anne Boleyn that she has problems with her emotions. When it comes to handling them, she will always turn to food. It's Chinese food, as you can see, so I'll show you guys if I eat it all or if I don't. There it is, I pretty much ate it all. Whether she's happy, sad, angry, upset, food is her answer, in the same way that a drinker will always turn to the pub. And so when Anne Boleyn started to gain weight, her audience were confused, but supportive. They understand that this is a journey that goes up and down slightly, and sometimes things happen. I'm only human, I'm not perfect, and I just want to say I give myself a lot of props for even trying. Seemingly, Destiny and Anne Boleyn were trying. They even managed to secure jobs at an assisted living facility, where their main role would be caring for people who can't care for themselves. The irony is not lost on me. I officially have a job. Is it gonna work out? I freaking hope so. Like, I officially have a job. Ah! I have another day at work today. Destiny's off, totally jelly. Moving from state to state, the girls were young and in love and my gosh, didn't they let us know. Going for dates at the movie theater, back when Anne Boleyn could fit in the seats. Going to work together, back when Anne Boleyn could fit through the doors. The girls would even shower together, back when Anne Boleyn could fit in the sh Wait there, how did these two women ever fit in the same shower together? Did you used to just hold hands and run through the local car wash? Justine and I took a shower together. We just- Babe. Stop it! Young, in love, and looking like a middle-aged woman and a special needs son, what could go wrong, eh? <laughs> Turns out everything. Who are you? And what have you done with salad? 461.0 pounds. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it said 461. Daily vlogging shows the world the best and the worst sides of you. And with Anne Boleyn's channel focusing less on weight loss, because there was none, and more on the drama and controversy surrounding her life, weigh-ins and healthy tips were being replaced with videos of binging and videos of the girls at work, where they were supposed to be helping and aiding the residents, looked a little something like this. Imagine being 90 years old and relying on these two gals for your every need and care. I would honestly rather piss myself and rot. Go do your job. I know what you may be thinking, surely you need qualifications to work in this industry. Apparently not. However, the company did provide a background check. But as you can see, Anne Boleyn's back is less round and more of a rhombus shape. With the views rolling in and the money adding up, Amber decided to focus on YouTube full time. Wow. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I don't know how I'm gonna put this. Just wanna say thank you to everyone. And this, I believe, is where it all went tits up for Anne Boleyn, her weight loss journey, her channel, and the public perception of her. I can't even tell you how many compliments I get all the time. Why am I so pretty? Honestly, I'm not. Thank you. I'd concede that she hardly pulled her weight. I mean, have you seen her? Who could? But by having a job, Anne Boleyn had a reason to wake up in the morning. With no regular job and up to $10,000 a month to spunk on all the Cheesecake Factory, Orange Chicken, and Taco Bell that her enlarged heart could desire, Anne Boleyn went from this. Today I weighed in at 359.8, so that is seven pounds lost. To this. 572.4 pounds. 572.4, oh! It was becoming painfully obvious to our audience that the more views, and therefore money, Anne Boleyn was receiving, the more her true colours were showing. And I'm not talking about the pre-diabetic discoloration on her knuckles. Destiny thinks I'm a thug life. She wrote thug on the on this, Did it wrote her, and she put life on this one. Once considered quite a sweet girl from humble beginnings, Anne Boleyn Reed's consistent flaunting of her wealth. A few months ago, I spent thousands, not exaggerating, thousands of dollars on this app. General disregard for her health. I'm 400 pounds, okay, 400 plus. And her regression towards her subscribers who previously were quite supportive of her. We been new. 
What does that even mean? We been new. Okay. And I'm the one who has grammar issues. <laughs> Meant that her reputation on YouTube took a nosedive. So, so, so. During her relationship with Destiny, Amber Lynn put on weight. Oh, that looks so good. Quite a bit of weight. All whilst lecturing our audience on the techniques that best worked for her. I think me trying to be vegetarian is going to be super easy. I was a vegetarian for 10 days. Veganism, vegetarianism, my fitness pal, intuitive, intuitive, eat, intuitive eating. Darling, Amber Lynn love, you are massive and your intuition has made you massive. Garlic salt. I'm editing and I forgot to say, this particular clip has put me off salmon for the whole entire month. Anne Boleyn, I'm gonna be seeking damages. Let's break it down for a second. You don't know much about nutrition. You know very little about health. You have absolutely no respect for your body. If you were underweight in the same way that you're grossly overweight, you would probably have your health taken out of your hands and placed into a professional's. I don't think you're capable of looking after yourself, another adult, a child, or an animal. Oh my god, the animals. Up until this moment, you may be thinking, Tom, you're being a little bit harsh and our girl Amberlynn Reed, she doesn't deserve this. You're being a little bit nasty. And you may be right, but that's because I haven't told you about the pets. Amberlynn and Destiny have pets. They have dogs and cats, and I myself have a cat love of my life, best mate, all of that jazz. And so the idea of an animal being hurt in any way really does hurt my heart. The mistreatment of an animal does not always manifest in the pet being kicked, punched and thrown, left in a hot car to starve all day, with no air and ting. By taking on a pet, you also take on the responsibility to care and love them, to provide for them. Just a little tidbit about my dog Monkey here, because a lot of people think they know about my dog when they don't. My dog Monkey, is yes, overweight, obese, but he's happy and he's healthy. By grossly overfeeding them, not trimming their nails, not changing the litter trays, and generally providing a filthy atmosphere for your animals to grow up in. Well, they're all different versions of neglect, my love. <laughs> this one was not an easy child. <laughs> no bite. <laughs> Amberlynn and Destiny's treatment of their pets in their videos drew massive concerns from YouTube audience, with animal welfare services being called multiple times. If I'm honest, the way they handle their animals is very Lenny from Of Mice and Men. Makes me pretty uncomfortable. Put it under a tail. Huh? Put it under a tail. In the pocket of here. And just because my dog is 11 pounds overweight does not make me an abuser. I waited today at 476.2. As you can see, Amber Lynn relied heavily on Destiny from the beginning. She was required to take her everywhere in the car, clean up after her, make her meals, and generally do everything but wipe her. She probably wipes her ass as well. In vlogs from when the girls work together, you can see just how much Amber Lynn follows Destiny around like a little lost puppy. From an outsider's point of view, it looks like Amber Lynn is trying to buy more and more gifts for Destiny in hopes that these presents will help her overlook some of Amber Lynn's negative points. I'm tired of people saying that I'm buying love so now that like I'm trying to not show what I get people people are saying that I don't get people anything it's like what is happening like people love drama. The girls were going out to eat more and more multiple times a week they would go to restaurants get takeout eat pizza even though Amberlynn doesn't like pizza. Pepperoni I'm not really a pepperoni girl but Oh well. God, what an odd life, eh? Bet that was a big struggle for you, darling. People were beginning to catch on to the cycle Anne Boleyn was presenting and starting to question her sincerity. There is a program called Octavia. It's telling you what to eat. It's all super, super simple foods. And that's, this is the very thing that I've been looking for because I can't think of a single reason why I would fail on this. This was the worst idea I've ever came up with. So I'm gonna stop doing Octavia and I am just going to you know, eat less and eat healthy. Some things just weren't adding up. Anne Boleyn was getting caught in some pretty obvious and stupid lies. I have been drinking a lot of water lately and soda is just like not good for you. I honestly have never eaten a whole medium pizza. With all the time in the world to sit on her ass and indulge herself in her passions, Anne Boleyn decided to bless us with her creative side. Whilst researching for this video, I came across a bunch of Anne Boleyn written fan fiction and don't get me wrong, 
it's all absolutely horrendous, but right now I'd like to focus in on her poetry. Specifically, a piece titled, Speaking Up. Speaking Up by Amber Lynn Reed. Let's see, who does everyone believe? Let's start gambling our life, rolling dice like knives on a platter. You kicked and screamed till it was making hate. Forget making love when the love was gone. R-A-P-E, rain and petals eavesdrop, I used the wrong word. Rain and petals eavesdrop, I used the wrong word. Rain and petal eavesdrop, I used the wrong word. Dramatic Lynn, Shakespeare Lynn, go on darling, give me a sonnet. The overarching thematic intent is an admission of guilt. Guilt of what, you may say? I haven't heard any accusations. Well, in a now deleted video, Amber Lynn recanted a story about a previous relationship with somebody called Casey. Just for clarity, Casey was previously known as a different name prior to their transition, but as they now wish to be called Casey, that's how I'll address them. My first like live-in relationship was with a girl named Cassidy. I feel very um, strongly about this and I feel like it's okay for me to say her name. In this video, Amber Lynn describes the relationship and how it started as long distance while she was being removed from the foster care system. Aged 18 and nowhere to go, she landed on Casey's parents' doorstep. Are you sensing a theme? <laughs> For two years, the couple lived together seemingly happily until, per Amber's own volition. At first it was like cute little bags, like, oh, come on, baby, you know, whatever. But then as time gradually went on, it became, you're gonna be touch me whether you like it or not. I'm not gonna include everything here because I'll end up leaping half of it out, but use your own imagination. Anne Boleyn accused Casey of doing some not very nice things. Go and watch the video yourself. You can't, it's been deleted. You'll find it somewhere on the internet, all right? You just have to search a little bit, do a little bit of research. I've done bloody loads. You can do one thing. I was like, you can't force me. And little did I know she can. Um. That's when she started punching me a lot. On the 14th of September 2016, Casey took to YouTube, rebuttaling some of Amberlynn's claims. You can go and watch it if you want, it's still online. I know you're not supposed to say you regret anything, but I do regret that relationship. Full-heartedly, immensely. Casey expressed their confusion. Her and Amberlynn haven't been in contact for years. Apart from that time Amber Lynn messaged her to ask if her fanny stunk. But I've been trying to put that out of my brain if I'm not, I bet it was, yeah. I absolutely bet it was yeah. Now, the time we were dating, I was, when we start da started dating, I should say, I was 15 years old. As well as explaining the age difference, Casey goes on to say that Anne Boleyn is in fact the one that's guilty of all the stuff that she's been saying Casey did. I don't know who to believe. I believe Casey. I believe Casey. <laughs> the places she said about being hit, those were on me. Those were the exact places she hit me. Based on the comments and the general discussion surrounding it, seems like the internet siding with Casey. It might be because Anne Boleyn has a proven track record of inconsistencies when it comes to truths. That's just a nice way of saying she's a lying bastard. <laughs> in fact, here's a clip from a future video where Anne Boleyn is discussing a previous date with Casey. Bear in mind she's supposed to be at work during this moment. I had an ex-girlfriend named Cassidy. She does not look like a girl. She like she, her, she taped down her boobs on purpose. So they'd always think that was a boy, so it was just really weird because I'm not into that. Admittedly, I'm not the nicest person in the world, so when I'm showing your ex more respect than you are, Houston, we have a big fat massive problem. Despite the growing disdain, with destiny by her side, Anne Boleyn was unstoppable. She was on top of the world. There wasn't a cloud in her sky. She was in love and she was massive. Nothing could go wrong in her- Destiny broke up with me. Oh. Oopsie daisy. I just wish that I would be her wife one day because that's how it was supposed to be. Anne Boleyn and Destiny's relationship continued in a absolutely no way bizarre and completely mental friendship. We do still live together. Um, we don't want to lose each other in the sense of like being friends and stuff. And we're even still sharing the same bed. I know a lot of you are going to be like, what? It's very much an attachment thing. Honestly, this whole entire video feels like I'm trying to explain concisely the entire plot of 2004's Lost. One of the best things that, have, is, that has ever happened to me was being hers. 
Does anyone else think it's absolutely mind-blowing that these girls are putting so much of their life on the internet and absolutely nobody cares? I mean, clearly and obviously I massively care, but I'm talking about the general public. Like, come on, if you put things on the internet, they're there forever. Do you really want this kind of stuff on there? I could put any clip here and it would be relevant. Do you really want any of this stuff on there? Do you want to see Destiny's massive fat tits on... I can't be asked with this conversation anymore. It started as a, ooh, look at me, I want to lose weight. And now suddenly it's become Real Housewives of Middle Earth. Destiny's new girlfriend is Dana. She hardly picks the slim beans, does she? Honestly, you could pick her type out in a lineup be the one girl that couldn't fit through the door on the way in. In fact, when Destiny and Dana went on their first date, Anne Boleyn joined. And I wish I was making this up. I know a lot of you think I have a lot of clothing. So I'm actually giving Dana all these dresses. <laughs> all of these. There's so many, but I just know I won't wear them. With the breakup fresh in her mind, Anne Boleyn decided to get on out there. Show Destiny what she's missing, yeah? Let your hair down, love. Go on, darling. Up. Have a bit of fun. Um, you've got something there. No, it's on your shoulder, it's just your other shoulder, your little one. Um, no, it's still... Maybe just put your hair up, love, honestly. We can't afford to have an infestation right now. We haven't got any pest control men. Not one to wait around. Anne Boleyn decided to throw herself into a new relationship with a lovely young lady named Becky. Hey, guys. Hey. Guys. <laughs> Can I retry that? <laughs> no, that's good. Whenever Anne Boleyn gets a new missus, she introduces her to the YouTube world via a get to know my girlfriend tag. Always a treat. Becky's was no exception. I like your nose, and I like your eyes, and I like your butt. <laughs> I like your vagine. I don't know what you may be thinking. God, how on earth do these two lovebirds meet? Is it a story for the ages? A romance tale that's gonna stand the test of time? Yeah, well, not quite. I was watching a random Rose Ellen Dix video and Amber Lynn was in the suggestions and I'm like, okay, sure. And like the comments were so freaking terrible. I'm like, God, this girl's like, big B. So I messaged her and I'm like, you're so pretty and beautiful. And oh my gosh. This girl has never been single in her whole entire life and you can't even get a text back. How on earth does that make you feel? I simply never put myself out there and therefore in the position to be hurt. Honestly, live your life as a closed book and you'll get through it much easier. Today, I weighed in at 532.0. Vlogs on the channel show Becky and Anne Boleyn meeting for the first time and deciding to make a light and airy snack in the form of chocolate gravy. I've never had such a thing before. So, chocolate gravy. She's making it right now. Chocolate gravy? Who on earth decides that that's an appropriate meal for any time? Pfft, I don't know. These morbidly obese people just live different lives, think different ways, don't they? Different mentality. Their mind's in the biscuit barrel, my mind's in the gutter. Fun fact, Dana and Destiny drove Anne Boleyn to her first date with Becky. Is there not Uber in the Middle Earth? Hey guys, so I need to talk. In what can only be described as a massive blow to the public, Anne Boleyn decided that she was no longer going to be a weight loss guru. <gasps> oh crikey, what on earth are we going to do without the guidance of Anne Boleyn Reed? How are we going to make healthy life choices without our inspirational leader? In this video she talks about not sharing her weight loss, never showing her body again, not even eating on camera, we don't deserve it anymore. Don't worry, it didn't last long. The next day she was gobbling and showing us every inch of her body. And honestly, well, it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable really because I just don't understand how she pipes her ass. And this is where the trolling gets ramped up to a 10. Mukbangs are so popular on YouTube and I'm surprised I don't make more of them, to be honest. I don't really do mukbangs. Like a lot of people are like, oh, Amberlynn, you're using your weight loss for views. And I'm just like, I'm using, I'm just like, I'm using my life for views really because this channel is about my life. Each video has about 25 ads on it. She eats on camera. She shows us every inch of her body in videos such as, come shopping with me. <laughs> Excuse me, darling, but if you could waddle out the way, that'd be ideal. I'm trying to panic buy cat food. At this point, Anne Boleyn isn't losing any weight. In fact, quite the opposite. She's gaining around a hundred pounds of each new girlfriend. And I'm not a mathematician, but that sounds like a recipe for a heart attack, darling, honestly. Two more pieces of fanny and you're gonna weigh a ton. I have not weighed myself or filmed a weigh-in in so long because my scale stopped working for me. And this is the new one because this one weighs up to like 550 pounds. I know I'm not 550 pounds. Wouldn't that be <laughs> really bad? Okay. 500 
pounds. 554.4. Do you see it? Mm hmm. Woo! Instead of listening to the critiques and criticisms of our audience who supported her at the beginning, Anne Boleyn decided she's going to do what she does best. This is a lot of food. And I just, I just know from firsthand. What, you don't think you're going to eat them all? No. I am. Amberlin. If somebody suggests you go and see a personal trainer, dietitian, nutritionist, psychologist, and a general practitioner to oversee the whole entire renovation, that isn't a hateful comment. In fact, that's quite helpful advice that you'd be wise to take. Orange juice is gross. Why? Because it's healthy? This is why I don't take comments seriously. The fact that someone actually thinks orange juice is healthy no. You know what isn't healthy, wise, or in any way good for you? Going for double dates to the Cheesecake Factory with your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, and your ex-girlfriend's fiance. And then you pick up the tab for everyone because you're just so generous, aren't you? And it's nothing about buying people's affection at all. Absolutely nothing to do, honestly. Cash cow, that's what they see when they look at you. And it's actually quite heartbreaking because no one deserves to be treated like that. But you're, you're allowing yourself to be walked over. It's not hard because at the end of the day, you are built like a pontoon. Oh, literally, Becky did not. <laughs> Becky, you literally closed the door in my face. So Eventually, Amber moves in with Becky and Becky's two mates, Ricky and Eric. They're in a relationship together and Amber Lynn pays 75% of the rent. Ricky seems like a pretty normal guy, has a regular job. Eric, on the other hand, makes YouTube videos, and thank God for that. I'm an um, interior decorator. Are you gonna decorate that space in between your ears? Because it means we get to see Anne Boleyn in a plethora of different situations that we would never see before. We get to see angles that I didn't think existed. It's like when you go to an aquarium and you go underneath the tunnel, you walk through, or you use a mobility scooter underneath the tunnel and you look up and you think, oh my God, I actually never thought I would see these massive sea creatures from this perspective. It wasn't just food and terrible earrings that Anne Boleyn was buying. Our girl loves a haul. And don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of wasting some money on clothes every now and again, buying some shite. But if your intention is to lose a dramatic amount of weight, why on earth are you investing so much money into shapeless massive tents? I just think it's an absolute waste, especially since everything you buy is horrendous. The dream of achieving a goal and hitting some undefined weight number is so appealing to Amber that she fails to see that she always falls at the first hurdle and her confidence gets completely shattered. And I kind of understand that because I'm no stranger to the old unnecessarily restricted, crazy controlled feasting. And so believe me when I say, I know that when you upload a 45 minute video titled Spicy Noodle Mukbang Gobble Gobble Eat With Me Show and put two ads in every five minutes, you're doing that to help your bank balance. You're doing that to profit of your illness. And that my friend is where the sympathy stops with me. So that has been awesome. It really has. You have all the tools at your disposal. You could get a therapist, you could get a psychologist. All of these people, you can afford to pay for them. If you truly did not want people to be involved in your weight loss journey, you'd delete your channel, but you've gone too far now. The money's too tasty, so you can't put down the fork and you can't put down the camera. 554.2 pounds. And that was the weigh-in that you guys have been wanting so bad. And Anne Boleyn. If you're at home watching this and you're getting a bit fired up at some of the jokes or perhaps you're getting hung up on some of the inconsistencies between my version of your reality, that's absolutely fine. If you're actively choosing to ignore the other 95% of helpful advice and critiques that I'm putting forth in this video, on your head be it. Honestly, love, I don't care. Enjoy being 600 pounds. It is your life. I know that some Amberlynn Reed historians out there are gonna be sat at home thinking, oh, Tom, you should have mentioned the GoFundMe scam. Perhaps you should have mentioned her extended fat. I know. I know everything there is to know. I just had to make some executive decisions. I couldn't mention every point. However, if you wanna discuss more points below in the comments, then feel free, honestly, it's a free world, baby, unless I block you. And if you're sat at home thinking, oh God, Tom Harlock hates me because I'm overworked, no. Absolutely not. I don't dislike anyone because they're weight. 
I don't like Anne Boleyn Reed for all the reasons that I listed in today's video. If you're watching this video and you're getting fired up, please take it down in the comments. Do not go to Amber's page and leave her any hate. I'm sure she gets enough. Truly and honestly, if there's anything you want to know about Anne Boleyn Reed, just search her name alongside any word on YouTube and a compilation will come up. I'm actually quite sorry that it took so long to get this video out. I know a lot of you have been waiting with bated breath. If I'm honest, I went to Holland and got a little bit sick, but now I'm back, baby, and feeling better. Well, I'm not feeling better if I'm honest, but I'm worried to say that out loud just in case I get put in a hole and set on fire. I'm on the road to a million, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you want to see more videos like this on your homepage, and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Also, if you want to catch up with me in between videos, follow me on Instagram, Tom underscore Harlock. I post stories most days. A lot of you don't follow me there. Crack on, lads. Honestly, what are you doing? What are you playing at? I hope you guys are doing all right. I know it's a bit of an awful time right now, but we've just got to grin and bear it, really. Get through the other side and go to the pub. Oh, crikey, if it's not my government-mandated exercise hour outside. Anne Boleyn, love, how about you join me? Give me a FaceTime and we can walk together. Oh, I already regret saying that. You know when you make plans and you instantly think, nope, don't want to do that anymore. That was one of them. And beloved, don't call me. I can't be asked. I won't pick up. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.